Hi, this is Alicia. There was a feature that was in AX 2012, and I don't know if it immediately came over to D365 FNSC or if they added it later. I, I feel as if though I looked for it at one point, it wasn't there. So you may already know about this or you may not. So I want to go ahead and show it to you um, and see if you're aware of it and, and show you how to use it. So there's a function in the system called templates. So if you're creating a record, say, a, and I'm, the example I'm going to use today is creating a vendor. So if you create a vendor record, um, if you want, you can save it as a template. So the next time you go to create a new vendor, it'll pre-populate fields on your new vendor record based upon um, the, the template. So that way you don't have to populate as many fields. So this template concept is throughout the system. I found that it works well in some modules and some and, and in some screens and not so well in others. So uh, feel free to check it out in the different forms. But let me show you how to use it. So I'm gonna go under accounts payable vendors, all vendors. And I'm gonna start out by creating a new one, a new vendor record, just to give you an example. You can see I've already been in here playing a bit, so this, this popped in. Um, but I'm going to start out with blank, and okay, so this particular one I'm in is sandbox here, so the vendor number will not be assigned until you click the save button when a vendor group number sequence is used or a global sequence is used for account number and AP parameters page. Okay, so someone's got this configured a bit differently for the number sequence. So we'll get an error message and then it will assign the vendor ID. Um, but the point is, when I'm in here, I'm going to create a new record and I'm just going to call it AK template 2 and then I'm going to give it a, a group and really anything, you know, I want to give it in here. I can pre-populate, you know, these fields. And again, I'm just randomly putting numbers in here just so you can kind of get a, the idea um, behind it. So the point is, is again, I can pump, maybe put the site in here, the warehouse. Typically you wouldn't do this on a vendor, but um, you, you obviously can. All right. So once I've done that, I save the record and go to options. Again, we're getting this message because of the number sequence thing. So all right, so it's save the record. So this is record 79. And then under options at the top, I go into record info. And then I'm going to say use user template. Uh, you can also set up company account templates, but I'm going to do a user template here. And this is going to be, um, I'm just going to call it AK template 2. This is an example, and of course you can put a description in there as well. And then I'm going to close this. All right, so now that I have that in there, I'm going to create a new one, a new vendor. And here now you can see I have this vendor 2. So I'm going to click on the vendor 2, and I click OK. And then I'll just call this AK3. So you can see the vendor group came in automatically. You can see that the credit rating, the credit limit, those fields that I kind of randomly randomly populated the site, the warehouse. So if you're in a situation where you have pretty consistent data and you do want, and you do want the fields to be pre-populated, um, all you have to do is create a template or you can save an existing record as a template. And then every time you make a new record, then you can pick the template you want and it keeps you from having to populate those fields manually. So I hope you found this helpful.